Hello everyone, Sigmulator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Let's have a look at our uh, personal thing. We've got... And we can change our appearances. Oh, are you for... Miranda for now. We've got a much bigger crew to gather this time. Upgrades, we don't have any yet. Unread messages. Message from Anderson. On the off chance that the off chance that the rumours are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the two years. You put me on the council, and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. <laughs> fair enough. Mark that as read. Deal struck with Zayed Masani. Shepard. Whoops. We've reached a, an agreement with veteran mercenary Zaid Masani. You may know the name Zaid. He's been involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus systems and is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with his skill on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. Oops. You will find him on uh, Omega where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fees, I've taken care of that personally. Cool. Lost contact with survey ship. Uh, the MSV Rosalie, uh, a survey ship with Cerberus connections, has gone missing. The survey team was field testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planet Side Exploration Rover. In addition, scientist Dr. Manuel Casey, Dr. Robert Oloy, are aboard the MSV Rosalie and conducting research for us. We need you to find the ship, her survey team and the doctors. The MSV Rosalie has, was last seen near planet Ziona Alista Isma Frontier. Alrighty. Normandy crash site location. Commander Shepard, our scans in the Armada system have turned up something we thought you should see. The final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honour the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack of the Normandy. If you find any signs of these lost crewmen, we ask that you report to the Alliance so that those heroes' families might have some closure. Godspeed to you, Commander. Thank you, Admiral Hackett. Recon Hood. Shepard, it, uh, it occurred to our armor technicians that you may not want to show your face everywhere you go. They sent a hood uh, that Cerberus issues to its covert operatives. It has additional microphone functions that you may like. The hood is in your quarters. Overlord. Shepard, one of our cells just went off the grid without explanation. <laughs> Sorry, elusive man, I'm allergic to bullshit. Project Overlord has been experimenting with <laughs> Enough. Project Overlord has been op experimenting with highly volatile technology and I need you to investigate. Their work is extremely uh, compart compartmentalized enough that I can't divulge operation details over this channel. You'll find them in the on the planet 8 Typhoon system in the, in the Phoenix Massacre Enough! Stop it now. In the Phoenix Messing Cluster, please uh, use care in this matter. Cool. Arc Projector. Shepard recently had an incident involving the Geth at one of our outposts in the Skillion Verge. Don't worry, I'm not sending you off to chase anything down. Our, op our operatives waged a highly successful battle against the Geth scouting party party and credited their success to a new advanced electrical attack device that we finally let them take out of the lab. Since their unit is being reassigned for some rest and relaxation, I thought you should take custody of the weapon in the meantime. The weapon is called an arc projector. I sent it to the Normandy's armory so you can examine it for yourself and use it if you deem, deem it worthy. It's gone through plenty of tests and indicate uh, it overloads kinetic barriers and synthetic enemies particularly well, but laboratory demonstrations are a poor substitute for actual field reports. We know it works, 
Now we want to see what it can do in the right hands. If all goes well, we'll use your tactics to train other operatives. Fair enough. Rendezvous with, rendezvous with Kasumi Goto. At great cost and effort, we have tracked down the master thief Kasumi Goto and convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her and fewer ha can claim to have seen her in person. She is unequaled at stealth, unequaled at stealth and infiltration and her skills will prove invaluable in your mission. Travel to the Sakira Ward on the Citadel. There you will find a special ad terminal that differs from the usual. Input the password silence is golden to begin the rendezvous. Cool. Essential, uh, essential financial services your account. Uh, hello Commander Shepard, thank you for submitting your updated medical documentation. Your status has been changed from deceased to alive. After deducting modest administration fees for closing uh, the file, the subsequent change in status and the reactivation of your account, you have a remaining balance of uh, 752,035 credits. Thank you for banking with Ascension Financial Services. We look forward to working with you. Are you protecting your greatest assets? We will find uh, we will find the best life insurance rates and coverage to fit your needs. Reply for a free quote today. You know what? I think I'm all right. Kelly. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? <laughs> Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. That's, that's actually very useful. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, romancing Kelly doesn't actually affect your romance options with anyone else. But it's a good idea to romance her because, well, she will feed your fish for you so they don't die. But nothing else here. Close the shutters. ED. Hey, Joker. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I die. Yeah, you are such a downer. 
Uh, but if we want second, I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Damn hay, fe uh, hay fever. It's getting to me. Yes, Shepard. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge where the navigator plots our FTL vectors and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here. Thanks. <laughs> I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. <laughs> Cool. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Of course you do. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why is there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Or might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilizations, put it out there. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Mm-hmm. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Let's discuss something else. Ready. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Commander. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. <laughs> so, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output, and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. 
Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. <laughs> too far there, but you know what I mean. Your problem, not mine. Thanks. I'll remember this. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Already behaving like an old married couple. All right, let's go have a chat with Jacob and Miranda. All right. All right, projector. Yeah, let's take that. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Alright. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point-to-point. -point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of this in Mass Effect 2. What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using Omnitool, computer-aided design and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. Excellent. Right, it's going to be, yep, yeah, this one there. What's this area of the ship? This is the Combat Information Center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. Uh, right, let's pop upstairs, have a look at my quarters. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. There's all the uh, things I've done so far. That's where I'll get my fish. Now that's a view. That music, we won't mess around with that too much. 
That's where we can change our armor. Alright. Crew quarters. Be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Ooh, yikes. Oh, that's the restrooms. We don't need to worry about those too much. To have a chat with Miranda. Hi, Ice Queen. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment, and a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. No, no, not so. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions, even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. <laughs> Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. 
Is there an ED thing in here? No. All right, moving on. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. <laughs> Be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. As Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands. Most of the time. <laughs> this ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help, be that plumbing a sewer, Routing an air duct or keeping everyone's bellies full. Do you have everything you need? I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. <laughs> Alright, so now we've got some shopping to do. But this is why you need to talk to absolutely everybody. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships. Never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. 
It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. We're still gonna get one. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Yeah, Doctor Chuck was. What's this area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short-term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. All right. Nothing else we can do in here. Let's head down to engineering. What are you looking at, Shepard? Alright, Edie, where are you? There you are. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land the ship on high gravity worlds. I see. Me. What's this area of the ship? This is main engineering, which contains the ship's main fusion plant and Mass Effect core. Hey guys! You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love <laughs> Engine, and Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays, the- Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. <laughs> In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Carry on. Well do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you he would. And there's another mission. Well, not really a mission, some more shopping. Alright. That's pretty much half of this episode spent talking, so let's go and a new message at your private terminal. Yes, I see Kelly still lies. Alright, here we are. 
And this time we get to actually control the Normandy. What's our fuel like? Alright. Tra yeah, travelling between different systems costs fuel. So, first up, let's go to Omega. take these two because well they're the only ones we have all right that'll do and uh, Miranda me I'm all done hi welcome to Omega you're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot, now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers, welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Aria for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine hmm. warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Alright. Ah, now this is much more useful, telling us where everything is. I don't remember if it actually did that in the original. If it did, I just never looked at it. Said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Hey, Zaid. That's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, <laughs> shut it. Tried to lead me on a chase all over the systems. You should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. <laughs> I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. Oh. 
I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. I like Zaid. He's a bit of an ass, but he's a lovable ass. All right. Omega, what a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. All right. No, you got nothing to say? Fair enough. Okay, so we've got apartments over here, Hans and Purim, Ken Salvage, Mega Market. Right, one of these one of those I can get the couplings I need. But is my uh I need to remember how to boost my Paragon points now so I don't miss any of the options. Do I, go, do I need to see Arya first? Possibly. What are you looking at? Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No. Just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... Fine. You're off the hook. For now. See you around. <laughs> yeah, Paragon boost. So yeah, going this way first was probably the best idea. Well. Welcome to Omega. Or Omega, whoever you choose to pronounce it. Bottle of brandy? I will have that. Alright. Aria? That's close enough. I think we're a bit outgunned. Stand still. If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. You can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> You need more. Everyone needs more something, and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one man. Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. Mm-hmm. So, what can I do for you? So, you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley, or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer, mind your own damn business. One scan and we're straight to business? People are usually more concerned about who I am. 
Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead, too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Hmm. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate. But I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. Very good. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the mercs realize you're here to help him. I'm looking for Morton Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. <laughs> All right. So that's our two main missions here. I hear you're recruiting. Hmm. Why don't you step inside? I think I will. You'll get paid and the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Why are the Mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing, operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jared's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Derek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The Mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. You had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations, and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. 
like chasing a porch out of the sewer pipes. But that's why we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Sure you will. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Nope. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. <laughs> All right. Let's head to the depot. God, the sprint's even worse than in the first one. Jesus, Shepard. Told you to work on your cardio, boy. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. Uh, yep, we'll stick with you two. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in? Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. Sounds like a suicide mission to me. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't <laughs> destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout but they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. Fair enough. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Well, we might have a way in, but getting out could be interesting. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Sounds like it's going to be a grand old time. Right. Anything around this area doesn't look like it. Let's 
Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. Good idea. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. Do you need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack? Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction, nothing more. Whether you survive or not is up to you. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the ESO moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. Okay, that's, le that's a legit reason to be angry about it. What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around, you'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered, he won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. I'll get going. Good idea. What am I stuck on? Uh, Tarek, I've spoken to Garn and he and his men are on board. Assuming this operation is successful, we can count on high morale and, extent and extensive buy-in from the men. From the losses we've already taken, possi possibility exists that we won't have the men needed to continue on the next objective. It's clear, it's clear though that none of our organisations would be ready to move on Arya without the assistance of the other two. Jareth. Right, well... Clearly they're breaking the one rule on, on Omega. Oh. Oh no, it's this one. Uh, that one. That one. Perfect. I'll take the element zero. Reprogram this one. Target parameters reconfigured. That should slow them down. Perfect. It'll be hostile if they activate it. Damn straight. Uh, Vorcha. You're in the wrong place, freelancer. You the blood pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. When did the blood pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Huh. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their max. We'll see. Why are the blood pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed? Talk to us. The blood pack are everywhere. <coughs> everybody loves us and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. 
He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. Watch. <laughs> the only one who's fought him one on one. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once, waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life, but I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him, but the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. I should get going. About time. All right. Uh, which way? No, that's where we came. Your friend dead. Your friend's dead. All right. Um. Oh shit. Come on, give me the, there we go, that's the one I want. Oh, this is why I ha ah, there we go. What, are you serious? I hate these ones. Was that that one? Yes. That. This is valuable. Grab that. Take you. Take you. What do you want, freelancer? Not much. I just have a few questions about the operation. Get, get this scum out of my face. Over here. The next wave's going soon. Shouldn't you be outside getting ready? Why is he so pissed off? He's not a big fan of your freelancers. Doesn't trust people he doesn't know. Hates having to bring in outsiders. What do you want to know? What's Derek gonna do if the infiltration team fails? To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, he'll let Eclipse and the Blood Pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. What if Archangel survives all the attacks? Then you sons are on your own. That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's good, but he can't hold out that long. He's already been in there over a day. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know it to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Sun so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. Fair enough. We better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. Yeah, let's go check in with Kafka. This is going to be an extended episode, so we don't half-ass this part of the mission. 
Gathka. Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you must be the group Salky mentioned. You're just in time. Salky? You met him when you were dropped off. He radioed to say you were coming. You three kind of stand out from most of the other freelancers. Anyway, the infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Are you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. In a few more tweaks, she'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? And try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap them in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blaster's finished with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Are you leading the assault? <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Target is in sight. Where a go? Check. Bravo team. Go, go, go! <laughs> Jacob looks so bored. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to a hundred percent before Tarek decides he needs her again. Gotta do this one. You're working too hard. <laughs> nice ass. Doesn't look like Archangel's got much time. Well, let's not wait around too long. Give these guys a surprise of our own. Heads up. All right. Anyone else in here? Right, we'll grab this. Grab this. This looks interesting. Interesting, sure. Grab all of the things. Archangel. Archangel.
Shepard. Garrus! I thought you were dead. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mercs is hard work, especially on my own. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. You nailed me good a couple of times, by the way. Concussive rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. <laughs> you nailed me good a couple of times. Concussive uh, rounds round only, one. No, if I want... Besides, you're taking well, sweet time. we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And the three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack, in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. Nope. That looks like a lot more than scouts. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You? You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything they've got. All right. Ah, uh, they're out of... Out of range. Need to switch weapons. Yeah. 
Whoa. Uh... Good shot, Garrus. Anyone else? Nice. You want something done properly. All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. And that's not going to go how you think it's going to go. go. Online. Sending out the heavy mix. That problem should take care of itself. Uh, yeah, we've got more of this. Yeah, this is going to be an extended episode. We get a bit of a reprieve after this battle. So we'll probably end this episode after this battle, because I don't want it to go too long. Lost the mech. Never saw me coming. Good shot. Ah, Jareth. Well, that's him taking it off. Looks like that's all of them. Come find me before they regroup. All right, let me. All right, we're all stocked back up. Just have a quick look around here. Yeah, hold on, Garrus. Make sure I'm not missing anything in here. You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. Why were you after him? He's been shipping tainted Ezo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? What the hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. 
You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Jacob, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. If you say so. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. How do I get to the basement? Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. All right. And I'm going to end this episode here. It's so easy to get sucked into Mass Effect 2, so I'm going to have to try and uh, be strict on myself and keeping these episodes within a time limit. But for now, I'm ending this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.